So this is all very different, isn't it? You're watching me inside there, and I'm outside here. You're watching me on the screen, and I'm outside in the fresh air. See, I wonder if you're all looking at me, scratching your heads and going, I wonder what's going on. Or you're waving hello because you remember who I am. See, it's all new for you too, isn't it? You're in new classes. You've got new teachers. Some of you, it's a whole new school. It's a new beginning. And there's new ways of doing things. Even new ways of keeping each other safe. When we have new beginnings, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to think that we need to get rid of all the old. We don't need that old stuff anymore. Just get rid of it. Get rid of all the old and start again. Did you know it's not really like that? When we have a new beginning, we actually <laughs> use some of the best of the old to make the new. So let me tell you a story to show you what I mean. A very, 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 very long time ago. There was no earth. There was no sky. There were no animals. There was nothing. And then God spoke and creation. God created the sky and the sun and the moon and the land and things that grow on the land and the water and all the swimmy things that live on the water and then God created the crawly the mermaid the hoppy and the jumpy things things that live on the land and last of all God created people like us God was pleased with what he had created and he had a plan for this creation. The people were to look after all the growing things and look after all the swimmy things in the sea and look after all the crawly, runny, happy, jumpy things that lived on land and most importantly to look after each other. But this is not what happened. The people didn't look after all the growing things and look after all the swimmy things in the sea and look after all the crawly, runny, happy, jumpy things that lived on land. And most importantly, they didn't look after each other. They didn't care what happened to anything that grew. They didn't care what happened to anything that swam in the sea. They didn't care to anything that ran or crawled or hopped or jumped. And they didn't care what happened to other people. They didn't care about anyone except themselves. And I bet you can guess how that worked out. A great big <coughs> mess. So this made God very sad looking very angry too. So God decides he's got to do something about it. He decides that he's got to get rid of all the old. And start again with a new beginning and make everything new. God decides that he's going to make it rain and rain. And rain, 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 and rain until all the bad has been washed away. And you can start with a new beginning. So then God looks out over all that has been created. 
and he notices these things that he really rather likes. He likes the swim things in the water. He likes the crawly, runny, hoppy, jumpy things that live on the land. And God thinks that he should keep some of those. In fact, he decides that he will keep seven each of all the clean ones and two each of all the unclean ones. Now, I'm not sure what God means by clean and unclean, because I know when I take my dog for a walk and he rolls in the fox poo, well, he's pretty unclean, as you can imagine. But then, when he's been at home and he's had a nice foamy bath, well, he's pretty clean then. Anyway, that's what God decided to do. To keep two each of all the unclean animals and seven each of all the clean. Then God notices something else. Not everyone was bad. Noah. Noah and his family. They were good. They were good at looking after the growing things. They were good at looking after the swimmy things and all the crawly, runny, hoppy, jumpy things that live on the land. And most importantly, they were good at looking after each other. I think I know that you know what happens next. So he decides to get Noah to build a big boat. Now bigger than that. Now bigger than that. A really big boat. About two football pitches long. About one football pitch wide and at least half a football pitch high. A very, very big boat. Now, I bet that boat took a long time to build. But somehow, Noah and his family got that boat built. And when the boat was built, they collected together all those animals that God had said to save. And then, and only then, did God say, rain. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and the water got higher and higher and higher and higher. It rained, it says in the story, for 40 days and 40 nights. And then, the rain stopped, and all that was left was a world full of water with a big boat with Noah and his family and all those animals. Now I bet it was crazy on that boat. All that mooing, baaing, woof, dogs, meow, cats, and all the other animal noises. Well, I bet it was crazy on there. And what about all the eating and pooing? Oh, oh, I bet it stank on there. But eventually, the water starts to go down. And Noah and his family can leave the boat with all the animals. And God had made a new beginning by getting rid of the bad old things, but keeping the best of the old things. Keeping the important old things. The things that made everything better. And then God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and everyone else who sees the rainbow that he will always keep the best things, the good things, the important things, even when it's time for a new beginning. And I bet you've seen hundreds, if not thousands, of rainbows recently. 
I bet you've painted a few yourself and made them out of stickers. Bet you've seen them on doors and windows and bridges and posters and cards. Even stones with rainbows painted on them. And those rainbows represent the important things, the best things, the things that we should keep in this new beginning. They represent your kindness, our kindness. So in this new beginning, this new way of doing things, the one thing, the most important thing from the old that we need to keep is our kindness, your kindness. Be kind to each other, be kind to everyone, and it will be a great new beginning. So do you think it's going to be easy to be kind to each other all day, every day? I think there's going to be times when we're going to find it hard, when we're going to find it difficult. So I've asked my friend, Reverend Cathy, to pray for us all. Hello. So we're going to come to God now with our time of prayer. And we're going to use the colours of the rainbow to bring different things to God, to ask him to help and also to thank him for things that he does for us. So the first colour of the rainbow is red. Here's red, the colour of our hearts and the colour we often associate with love. So let's bring all our love to God today and ask him to help us to share that love with others, to be really kind to others as we start this new school year, to do all that we can to help people and to be kind to them. The next colour of the rainbow is the colour orange. The colour orange is the colour of autumn, the colour of pumpkins. And as we think about coming into the season of autumn now, we, we know that it means that the weather's getting colder. We might have more frost and ice and rain. And let's think about people that find it really hard as winter starts to draw in, particularly people who are living out on the streets, people who are homeless. Winter can be quite a dangerous time for them. So let us pray and ask God to help them and to show us ways in which maybe we can help people who are having difficult times, whether it be out on the streets or whether it be people who are finding it difficult to make ends meet, people who are finding it hard to feed their families. Let's pray for them and let's ask God to help them and let's ask God to provide other people around who will reach out to make things more easy for them. The next colour of the rainbow is yellow, the colour of sunflowers, the colour of the sun. And I often think that yellow is a very happy colour. So let's thank God for all the things that make us happy. Although the lockdown time that we had was very difficult in many ways, there were some good things in it as well and we're thankful for those. And we're really thankful that as lockdown eased, we were able to get together again with family and friends that we missed. And those gatherings have made us happy, haven't they? So we thank God for happy times and the things that make us feel blessed. The next colour of the rainbow is the colour green. The colour of new shoots, of green leaves, of new life. We talked a little while about the fact that we learnt new things during lockdown. New things that we've had to continue with us as we come into this new way that we are living together. Things like keeping our distance sometimes, when that's the right thing to do. Things like washing our hands more often and for longer. Let's ask God now to help us to do these new things that help to keep each other safe. Because that's another way that we can be kind to one another. The next colour of the rainbow is the colour blue, the sky of the colour of a sky on a beautiful day. And people often say the sky's the limit, and that means that we can do lots of things if we believe in ourselves. As we start a new school year, let us thank God for all the gifts and the talents that He's given us, all the abilities that He's placed in us. Let's ask him not to make us jealous of anybody else because other people will be good at some things and we'll be good at other things. 
God has made us unique. So let us ask God now, Lord, help us to be the best person that we can be. Help us to develop the things that we are good at and to share them with other people as well. And the next colour of the rainbow is the colour indigo and that's a really dark blue, like the colour of a night sky. When I look up at a night sky and I see the stars and the moon, I often think how vast, how very big the universe is. And I just think how big God must be, the one who made it all. And so at times like this, it's good for us to remember how big God is and that God can deal with all our problems and all the problems of the world as well. And so, Lord, help us not to worry about the things we can't change, but to place them into your hands and ask you to change those things for good. Help us to trust you completely, Lord. And the final colour of the rainbow is the colour violet. This heart is violet. And sometimes we associate the colour violet with sadness. And we are aware that some people have been very sad over the last few months. Some people have been ill. Some people have lost loved ones, either to coronavirus or to something else during this time. And it's made it very difficult. Other people have felt very lonely. So we lift up to God people who are feeling sad. And we ask him to help them to know that he's with them. And to comfort them so that they will be able to see that there is hope in the future, that they don't have to be sad forever. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all the colours of the rainbow. And we've brought them all to God with our prayers today. We leave them with God now and we trust him because he's good and he's able. And he loves us all more than we can ever imagine. Amen.